Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone won't turn on after update. Apple regularly releases iOS updates to fix user reported errors, improve the current functions, add new features to the system. However, many problems also occur after updating to a new iOS software version. And iPhone not turning on after update is one of them. Users from Apple Discussions Forum describe the problems as follows. My iPhone won't turn on after iOS update and screen is totally black. After upgrading to iOS, my iPhone won't start at all and I can't reboot it. My iPhone does not turn on after an update. It stays on the loading screen and then on the Apple logo screen and I can't turn it off. Okay, let's get back to the point. So, why iPhone isn't turning on after update and how to save the phone from the disaster like this? Keep watching, and this video will lead you to the answers. Why won't iPhone turn on after update? When trying to identify what's behind an iPhone not turning on after update issues, you should consider the following possibilities. Software bugs with the new iOS release. Doing an update not only brings improvements, but also takes with unknown bugs. Therefore, your iPhone doesn't turn on after update because even the Apple technician might not be aware of. The installed iOS software. The iOS firmware itself can be the reason why your iPhone won't turn on after updating to iOS 17 or later versions. It can be the result of a faulty firmware update, but corrupt or missing system files can also play a role. Lack of power. A draining battery or a completely dead battery can cause an iPhone not to turn on after an update. And often what it shows is a black screen which doesn't respond to anything. iPhone hardware issues. For instance, the LCD's cable might be loose, or the internal components fail to work at times. Thankfully, you can fix some of these malfunctions on your own. So here's how to fix an iPhone that won't turn on after iOS update. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Plug iPhone into power. Whether your iPhone is not turning on after update, before update, or during the update, you should first make sure it has enough power. If you do the iOS update right on your iPhone, just plug it into a wall power outlet, place it on a flat desk, and let it charge for a while. If you use a computer to upgrade the iPhone and it won't turn on, then you can put it on a wireless charger. It's advised to keep your phone charged unless the update is finished as the process consumes a lot of power. Now, see if your iPhone turns on and works normally. If not, move to the next method. Force turn on iPhone. If you're assured that the iPhone battery has enough power, go to force restart your iPhone to fix the not turning on issue after update. This step helps remedy bugs coming along with the iOS update and sometimes all it takes is a simple restart to get the system back on track. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Hope now the power cycling can remove the bugs from the iOS update and turns on your iPhone to get it up and running. Update iPhone via recovery mode. As mentioned before, the iOS firmware itself can be the cause of iPhone not powering on after updating to the new iOS version. Be it a faulty firmware update or corrupted or missing system files. For this reason, you should try to put the iPhone into recovery mode and then do an update using iTunes or Finder on a computer. The recovery mode ensures that your iPhone is in a safe and clean status where the whole iOS software firmware can be properly and completely installed. We'll show you how to do that step by step. Get an Apple's USB cable and connect your iPhone to a Windows or a Mac. Open iTunes or Finder application. Next, enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, Press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side, 
or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. As you need to update your iPhone that won't power on, choose the update option. It'll then start downloading and installing the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. When all is done, see if your iPhone still won't turn on after the update. Reset iPhone via recovery mode. It's also possible for an iPhone not to turn on after doing an update due to a malware infection. It could hide in the settings, your files, the apps you've downloaded, and so on. Needless to say, figuring where the malware is lying is definitely hard. In such a tricky scenario, a way to is to wipe clean the device and start from scratch. Keep in mind that you'll lose everything on your phone if you don't have a backup. We'll show you how to do that step by step. Plug your phone into the computer where iTunes or Finder is running. Then, put your phone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Keep your phone connected to the computer. Head to iTunes or Finder screen and choose Restore in the opening dialog box. Then, the application will get it wiped and let the OS be reinstalled. Till now, you should manage to fix the issue that your iPhone fails to turn on after updating. Visit an Apple store so, you still fail to fix that iPhone won't switch on after a recent update through all the steps above? Then, perhaps you're dealing with a hardware failure that will require a technician to diagnose and replace the screen or another related component. To avoid further damages, you'd better take your phone to an Apple authorized service center close to you and have the device examined by an expert. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't turn on after update. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.